Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to Automation eLearn. In today's video, we are going to discuss one scenario in Java. That is, can we have two methods with the same signature in Java file? So here our requirement is we need to have two methods with the same signature in a single Java file. And uh, let me clarify one thing. We are not talking about method overloading because in method overloading also method signature must be different. Here we are talking about two methods with the same signature, not with the different signature. So it's very clear that we are not talking about method overloading. To understand this, we will discuss couple of concepts. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss today. We will discuss what is the difference between method name and method signature. And we will also discuss implementation of inner class and we'll see how to create an object of inner class and access the method which are which are implemented inside inner class. And at the end, we'll discuss about adding a new class to the same file and having a method with the same signature in it. So guys, all these topics are connected and help us to understand how we can have two methods with the same signature in the Java file. So without further delay, let's jump to Eclipse workspace and start our discussion by understanding what is the difference between method name and method signature. Here in Eclipse, I'm going to work with test project. So let me create one package over here. my package and I'm going to have one class and uh, let's take a main method okay I'm going to leave main method as is and uh, we'll have a new method method one for example let's add a print statement Okay, so guys, we need to understand difference between method name and method signature. Okay, so here method name is method one. It's very simple, right? And method signature is combination of method name and parameter. So suppose here I have parameter integer one, which is accepting one integer parameter. Method name is still method one. But when we talk about method signature, these two method name and parameter combination of these two is called method signature. So here we can say like, okay, actual name of the method and for method signature, we can say combination of method name and it's parameters okay so that is the difference between method name and method signature so when we talk about method overloading so in method overloading the signature of the method must be different otherwise we cannot overload method but here today we are talking about can we have two method with the same signature it means i'll copy this and i'll paste it over here so here we have two methods which are having a same signature. Signature means method name and its parameter. Here also method name and its parameter are same. This is the scenario. Two methods with the same signature. Here we have same signature in the same Java file. Here we are talking about my class dot Java. Okay. So as you can see, we have a compile time error here and error message is duplicate method method one. So it's highlighting like, okay, you have method one, which is duplicate in this class. And it's suggesting us like, okay, you can rename one of the method one to some other name. So this is the suggestion that we are getting from IDE, but that is not our requirement. If we will modify something here and we'll get rid of compile error, then we will be good. But that is not our intention for today. Then how we can have a two method with the same signature without any error. So let me talk about inner class concept over here. Using inner class, we can achieve this. So that is one of the solution using which we can have two method with the same signature. So let me remove this method for now. And I will have one inner class. 
so syntax for the inner class would be same like this we need to use class keyword and name of the class so class and i can give name as a inner class okay so here what we did is we defined one class inside my main class so this is my main class inside this i have defined one more class it also has a name that is inner class and this class inner class is inside my main class that's why this is called inner class but it is just like a normal class but here we have a nested class a class inside a class that's why we call it as a inner class the name can be anything maybe i can say it my inner class okay inside this let me have the same method over here so i have my inner class and inside that i have taken the same method with the same signature here method 1 and int a is a method signature here also method 1 and int a is a method signature so for both the methods we have same method signature that's what we wanted to achieve right so using inner class we can achieve this so we can have a same method signature inside inner class and we will not get any compile time error now let's try to access these methods so how we can access this method one and how we can access this method one this method one is inside my main class so i can create object of my class and i can access this method one so let's understand this i can create a object of my class myc for example my class and using myc i can access method one so it's accepting one integer so let's give some integer number even though we are not using it but it will not make any difference so let's pass some number and we are good so here if i'll execute this program then i should be getting this as a output so let's try to run this and see okay we are getting from method one so this method one got executed we can also access this method one which is inside my inner class so again i need to have a object of my inner class and using that i can access method one but here we need to understand this is class within another class so to access this i need permission of my main class right because my inner class is inside my class so i can create object of my inner class only with the permission of my main class so for that what i need to do is i need to make use of nyc to create an object of inner class so myc dot new my inner class this is how we can create an object of inner class using myc i am taking a permission it means i have access to nyc and nyc is containing one more class that is inner class and using nyc object of my main class i can create object of my inner class here and i can take a reference as if my inner class like this so what we did here is we created object of my main class myc and using myc i created object of my inner class and assigned it to my reference variable which is of type my inner class simple so using myc i can access method 1 so this time this method 1 is the method 1 which is implemented inside my inner class so let's change the print statement so that we can differentiate this from inner class method one okay so let's try to execute this program and see whether method one from the inner class is getting called or not run as java application so okay so we got two statements over here one from this method which is inside my main class and another one is from the method one which is implemented inside my inner class here both the methods got executed and both the methods are still having the same signature so using inner class concept 
we can have two methods with the same signature in a single java file and using this concept we can also create an object of inner class and we can access the method which is implemented inside inner class right so this is one of the way to achieve this scenario okay what is the second scenario second scenario is we can have one more class inside this file so this is one class right my class and i can have one more class over here class maybe my second class and here also i can have a same method with the same signature method 1 and accepting one parameter so we have added the same method with the same signature in my second class as well and we are not getting any compile time error so let's try to use this as well so what i need to do is i need to create object of my second class maybe sc and using sc i can access method 1 let's update print statement from my second class okay so i have added a new class which is outside of my main class earlier we had inner class which was a class inside another class but this time we had a new class which is outside of my main class and i have a same method over here with the same signature and using a object of my second class i am accessing method 1 so let's execute this and yeah we are getting all the three statements printed over here from method 1 so method 1 from the main class we saw earlier from the inner class a method from the inner class got executed and from my second class so method from my second class got executed so this is the second approach using which we can have a method with the same signature in the same file and we are not getting any compile time error and we are also not getting any runtime error i hope guys you understood the concept over here and the scenario that we achieved so let's recap the topics that we discussed today we discussed what is the difference between method name and method signature we discussed about inner class and its object creation and we also saw having a new class in the same file to achieve our scenario to have two methods with the same signature in the java file so using inner class and having a new class in the same file we achieved this scenario successfully all right so that's what i had for today guys let me know in case of any question or any doubt and uh, if you like the content that i am sharing on this channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you